Good morning, everybody. How exciting. This week's theme is hope. But I wonder if anybody's really thought about what hope means. Hope is a feeling of expectation. It's a wish for something to happen. It's waiting. It's wanting something special to happen. Now, usually hope is that we hope for something good. We hope for something special, something lovely, something positive. And when we hope for something, we're waiting for that thing to happen. Join me together on a story of hope, a story of adventure, a story of exciting things. There was once a little boy called Jerry, and Jerry's greatest hope was to go on the great Indian cruise. He spent hours, days, evenings, thinking, dreaming, hoping for the great Indian cruise. One evening, the wind brought him a gift, a piece of paper. How exciting! He had just learned how to do origami and he made himself a wonderful origami cruise liner. This cruise was called the Great Hope Cruise and the next morning it set off on its maiden voyage across the vast oceans to travel that journey that hope often travels. Now sometimes we think that things we hope for are going to be smooth sailing. But, as our little boat is going to discover, sometimes things get in the way. Oops! And it's not always easy to travel on our journey. It's not always easy to get those things that we hope for, but we hang on to them. And we might find obstacles in the way that block our path and might change our direction a little bit. But we should never give up hope. Never stop dreaming for those things that we so desperately would like to have. Just as our little boat did. He dreamed that one day he too would be part of the Indian cruise liner. But the path to hope isn't always smooth sailing. Not everything works out perfectly first time. But we should never give up hope. Never stop dreaming. Even on those dark nights and times when we feel that we've come to our end. Times when maybe things don't look so good and people that stop us and try to stop us from achieving those things that we so hope for. But what we often find is that we will have friends and people will help us along our journey to help us achieve those amazing things that we continue to hope and dream for. Friends who will be by our side, comfort us, and stand over us when things get tough, looking after us and guiding us along each step of the way. The journey towards hope, and the journey towards our dreams, is not always easy, but we never give up hope. Even on those windy days, when things are out of our control, and we think that nothing possibly good can come of our situation, we continue to hang on to hope. And God's hope is always by our sides, guiding us, steering us in the right direction. And sometimes just when we think things are brilliant, oh, we suffer another setback. Something to put us back and then we start our journey all over again. But whoa, look at that. Not all of our journey is difficult. Some of it's fantastic. It's an exciting journey. Our lives are filled with joy and wonderful moments. And we should hang on to those. Because one day, the things we hope for, just like Jerry, really will come into being. And they're the things that help us to keep going. And as you can see, our little boat finally made it to the Indian cruise. But you can see, so did so many other people's little hopes and dreams. And the special thing about hope is that it gives us something to hang on to. So what can we learn from this? Don't ever lose hope, because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Think about the little caterpillar 
Today, he's crawling across a little leaf, squirming along, not even imagining in his wildest dreams that tomorrow he could be on his way to being a beautiful butterfly, the little caterpillar that looks up to the sky and hopes that one day he too might be able to fly. Hanging on to that, eventually in his little cycle of life, he will turn into the most beautiful butterfly and flutter along the breeze and fly into the sky just like he always hopes for. So don't forget that whatever happens today, today might be a brilliant day, but it might also be one where you feel a bit sad and things don't feel so good. But we don't know what's going to happen to tomorrow and we hope for good things. We hope that wonderful things will happen and by hanging on to those things, it will help us to get through those tough times that we might experience. So remember, treasure the hope you have. Sometimes it's the only thing that keeps us smiling. Sometimes our days are a little bit rough. Things are hard. But when we hope for better things in the future, then actually it gives us something to smile about. If we look in the Bible, God reminds us that he cares for us and he really wants good things for us. In Jeremiah, we read, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you. That means to make things happen, really good things happen for you. And not to harm you. It means not to hurt you. Plans to give you hope. There's that wonderful word, hope. And a future. God says, I have plans, a great plans for a wonderful future for you. Sometimes we don't always get to see those plans because we're so busy looking at what's right in front of us that we don't see the bigger picture. But God says, I know, I know your future and I know the wonderful things I have in store for you. It doesn't mean that everything's going to be easy, but it does mean that good things will come. And so in those times when we find things really tricky, God says he will give us hope, he will walk beside us and he will never leave us because God is the only one who can make a valley of trouble that means those times when we find it so difficult, a door of hope. That means we can open that door and hope for good things to come in our future. And the most amazing thing is, is that God says, I'm always by your side. Even if we don't believe in him, even if we decide that, you know, we're not quite sure that God exists. God says, that's OK. I'm right here by your side. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father. You are such an amazing God. You love us so much that you sent your only son to die for us. And Father, we just thank you that in these times when things don't always seem right, they don't seem normal, sometimes we feel a bit sad and a little bit low. Sometimes we get a little bit grumpy and a little bit grouchy. Lord, we thank you that you are always there. We thank you for the hope that you give us, hope of good things, and wonderful things to come. And we thank you, Father, that we can take joy in the hope and the pleasure of knowing that you have wonderful plans for us. We just pray that you will be with each and every one of us today. Fill us with your peace, comfort and guide us. Help us to be gentle, help us to be kind, and help us to be thoughtful of all of those around us. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.
from heaven this isn't second guessing we know that we are protected may the peace that surpasses all understanding be our message grace and favors in your nature in your essence may favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may favor be upon 